Whenever you create a Delphi application, you put all your components and your things that you want to do on the program on this main form. But there may come a time when you want to set up another form that pops up that does something different for your program that separates it. So in this video series, we're going to look about how to set up multiple forms or multi-form program and how to interact between those two forms. This video focuses mainly on just setting this up with the different forms and how to work and show them when we need them to pop up. Before we do that, let's just learn about the methods that we are going to use when we are using multi-formed programs. And the first one we're going to learn about is the show method. Now the show method, when you call it for a form, it will show its, it sets its visibility property to true and it brings that form to the front. So that's what we're going to use when we want to make another form pop up, basically. Maybe we want that form to disappear now. Then we're going to use the hard property and that sets the visibility property of that form to false. It's still technically running in the background, so we can still interact with it, but it's just hidden. It's not in view. Then we have the show modal method. Now, what's the difference between show modal and show? Well, with show modal, it also brings the form to the front. However, when you show a method or use the show method, it brings the form to the front, but you can still interact with the form that's running behind it. Show modal, however, puts the focus on the form that you've just said, show modal, and you cannot interact with your mouse or keyboard with any other form except for the one that's got the focus. You will have to close it or have to hard modal, for example, to get so you can work with the ones behind it. So this is quite limiting in if you want to then just to be able to interact with that particular form, then you use the show modal. Maybe we want to close a particular form. So we can use the close or self.close method to close a, a form. Now that won't close the program unless you are using this on the actual main form. Every Delphi program has a main form, which is the main one that runs. If you close that one, the, the application will terminate. However, you can close other forms and the program will still run. And that way it's not using up resources in the background. And then let's say we want to close the program, but we want to do it from a different uh, form. We can use the application.terminate, which will close the form. Um, it will close everything. It will shut the program down and it allows the process to be shut down in an orderly fashion by releasing um, different um, free and up objects and stuff like that, which we'll learn about in a later video. So those are the methods that we are going to use today um, in our video. So here we have a form that I've created. I've called it the blue form and I've just made it blue with a little button on it and so on. So yeah, we've got a little form and I have, if you click on my form, you'll notice that I've called it FRM main. This is my main form and I've called it the blue form and so on. So this is my main form. Now I want to add a new form to this Delphi project. Um, so there's lots of ways of doing it. You can go file new, you can add a new form this way. Another way, which is quite nice, is if you click on this side of here, you can right click on the project and say, let's add a new form over here. And so yeah, you'll see that it adds a whole new unit. You see it adds it to the list over here. So this is going to be my second form. And I'm just going to quickly design a quick form here for you so that you can see that it looks quite different. So I've just made a couple of changes to the form. I've made it a yellow form. I've, I've said that it's, the caption is the yellow form. I've added a little go back button and I've just added some text to this form so we can see that there's a difference. Now, before I do anything else, I'm going to save this. I haven't saved it yet. Um, just some things that I'm going to do. I'm going to go file, save as, or we'll save it. Let's go so file, save as, and we want to save it into that folder where the other unit is. So this is my multi-unit. I'm going to actually give it a name of the yellow form, but this is a unit. So I'm going to put yellow form underscore U as the unit. Okay, so let's save that. So it's the yellow form underscore U. That's what the unit is called. Now under here, you can see it says yellow form underscore U for the code. So that's what my unit is called. The actual form, I haven't given it a name. So let's go give it a nice little name. The actual form... It's called form two. Let's call it FRM yellow. So there'll be no. So this is the so the unit is yellow form underscore U, and the actual form component is FRM yellow. So there's my form, and there's my other form. So we've got two different forms. Now if I run the program, even if I'm in the yellow part, if I run the program, let's see if it all compiles. There we go. You can't see the yellow one. There we go. It just runs the main form. This is the actual main form. And so on this particular 
button here next I want to make this form pop up now the problem is when I click on this form on this button and I want to access this form this form is called frm yellow so I go frm yellow and it goes hey I don't know what frm yellow is it doesn't recognize it because we haven't although we've added to the unit it doesn't know that this can interact with the yellow form unit so what I'm going to do is right at the top here under users I want this to be able to access whatever's on the yellow form unit so at the top here we're going to add yellow form underscore you so let's add this particular set of this whole unit we're going to add it to this unit so we can access the stuff on this yellow form okay so now that I've done that if I go down to the button again if I type in frm yellow you see now it recognizes it now I can say things like dot show which means I can make the form pop up so let's try that so we're going to do that so I'm running it so I'm in my blue form and if I click on next boom my yellow form pops up now you'll see that I can still go back to the other form and interact with this one because we didn't use show modal now if I close this one and close that one we close the application now if I say show modal if you remember show modal if I run it now if I click next you see I can't I can't get to this one I've got to finish off with this form before I can interact with this one again okay so those are so that's the difference between show and show modal um, so maybe on this form we want to be able to do things on this side so we want to say go back we want to be able to click on this and go, and close this form so we can say on this form if our m yellow dot hard so we can close the form not if from if or on M yellow but we don't want it to run in the background let's run it I'll go next and I go oh you see I can't actually do anything because we said show modal so that is why we should probably not use the show modal in this case it would actually work better if we did do show modal it would actually work better if we said form dot close I think that will work a bit better because it actually closes the form it takes the focus off of it and now if I close it I can now interact with this form okay so remember even if you hide it it's still running the background it's still technically the focus so we want to do that and if I want to be able to close the application application dot terminate then I can And there we go close the application so that's what those are the different options that are available to me whenever I use the forms now I'm going to do a different scenario now it's slightly different I want to be able to when I'm on this form when I click on next I want to be able to show the form and I'm going to hide this form so the main form will dot hard okay so we see that okay so when I run that click on next and you see that the other form is now gone okay so now when I click on go back obviously we've still got the, the terminate the application now when I go to this form I want this form not to go back I want this form to go okay well frm main dot, I want to I want to bring that other one back okay but if I do that you see it doesn't recognize frm main now this form could recognize the yellow because we added it at the top but in this form it doesn't recognize frm because it doesn't recognize unit one so you might think well let's just add unit one here and that would make sense but if I do that it creates what's called a circular reference so there's errors so it says there's a circular reference you can't have two units at the top you can't have them refer to each other at the top here so the way to get around it so this is my main form it has access to yellow form underscore you so on this one we're not going to include it over here but I can do it underneath implementation over here over here now I want you to watch form main I'm going to say over here we can put another users over here and we're going to say users unit one so when I do that you see now we can see that the form main 
www.ftmarketingmarketing.show is available to us. So when you've got a multiple forms that you want to go between, the one must be mentioned at the top and the other one must use the unit on under implementation. So just make sure that you get you stack those nicely. So we can say form main.show and then I'm going to say self.close. Let's see what that does. So that it closes the second form. Let's see if it closes the second form. So I go next. So it opens up this form. And there we go. Close the other form. So there we go. Now that's how we can go between the different forms. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So that's how we jump between the different forms. Now, as I said, remember when you run a program, it runs whatever is your main form. Now, if you designed your program and you made a mistake and you wanted the yellow form to be the main one, that's the one that must pop up first. If you have done something like that, then you can always go to project. You can go to options. And if you go all the way to forms here, you can specify which is the main form. You can say yellow is the main form. Then the yellow one will, will jump up first. So if I run that, you'll see the yellow one pops up first. The only problem now is this button says self.close, which means it will close the application. So that's a little, little problem there. But so that's what you can do. So project options. We want to reset the form. We want our main one to be the main one. Okay. So there we go. That's your introduction into forms. Okay. So the biggest tip here is to remember your main one will use the secondary ones here at the top and your secondary ones can use the other unit under implementation so that you can interact between the two. For the other videos in this video series, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.